Okay, don't ask me why, but one day I decided to wake up and feel sympathy for my keyboard. Because I feel like keyboards do not get enough appreciation for what they do. Every day I see people destroying and obliterating and abusing their innocent keyboards. Many of these keyboard warriors have been sacrificed for mankind. So I urge everyone in the keyboard community to make today the K-Day, the Keyboard Day, to express our gratitude to our fallen keyboard warriors. And also, a Merry Christmas. Right now, I'm gonna teach you how to make your keyboard a human being by making them scream. Oh, by the way, sorry for my weird. First of all, download and install Soundplant. So just quickly type it into Google search and you can see the first result, soundplant.org. Our links in description. So the purpose of this software initially was to create and mix beats, but not for today. They have a really cool feature which allows us to upload our own sounds and music. Click on download and install for Windows or Mac. So once installed, you can just search Soundplant 50. Okay, so this is the looks of the software and it is initially doesn't have any effect because we do not have any sound uploaded. So to find sound, you can either find it from YouTube or any other mp3 website. So I quickly go to YouTube and find my screaming sound. Okay, so after you find your sound, just copy the link and then search YouTube to mp3. If the first link can't, you just use the second link. So normally they just need your link. You search it and then just convert it. Download it. After you have your sound effect, just go back to your sound plan software and find where the sound is. After you locate the sound, just upload it to the sound plan by dragging it into the key that you want. So in this case, I want my spacebar to have the sound effect. So I drag it into it. So if you press space, <laughs> you can already hear the sound effect. So it's pretty cool, right? And then right now, let's just optimize it so that it sounds better <laughs> so right now if you see if i press spacebar it will keep playing the sound so i don't want that i want after it plays it will kill another sound so let's go to my channel priority and stop on the next sound or anything auto kill will do after it plays the effect it will stop the previous effect from playing if you want it to play in the background when the software is minimized, just toggle the background key input and then go to whatever. And every time you type in the background, it will still sound. Okay, let's try it out with Flappy Bird, the classic game. So let's go. <laughs> Okay, so I found this screaming compilation sound effect. So I will just download it and cut it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, comment what you think it is useful for and subscribe for future videos. And remember, we honor the K-Day and respect our keyboards, all right? I don't want to see anyone smashing a keyboard again. Merry Christmas and I hope you have a wonderful new year. I hope to see you guys again. Enjoy, budget zero, peace out.